Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So today I'm gonna go for a ride on Arlo. We're gonna groom and tack up and we are gonna get some canter miles in. So luckily we're able to ride in the outdoor arena. It's actually thawed out, so I'm super excited. I know, you just always want snacks. But I just got to get some canter miles in. Because I've been riding Mushu and Lumiere a lot, I don't canter on them as often in the winter because they need more strength and balance and they're a lot more green. Plus, it's really hard to do so in the indoor arena. But like I said, luckily we have a nice day. I wanna ride Arlo and just have fun and enjoy our cantering time. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can build your confidence in the canter and we're just gonna have fun. So let's get started. First off, Arlo's a hot mess. So we're actually gonna hose off his legs. So I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna groom the best we possibly can and tack up. For those of you who don't know, Arlo is a gated horse, okay? So he moves differently than a horse that just walk, trot, canter. So he has an extra gait and he is a spotted saddle horse and his color is gray Sabino with a touch of mud. Okay, that is official right now. Arlo is actually a very sweet horse. He's fun to ride, he's safe. He is just a big goofball. You're just looking for any snack you can get. You've been stuffing your muzzle with hay all day. I've been seeing it. So we gotta get some exercise. He's like, I'm hungry. All right, let's hose off your disgusting muddy legs, okay? I just filled the trough, so we got the hose out already. And we're gonna do it. So when you start a hose around a horse, no matter how used to it they are, you wanna start it away from them. Why might you ask? Because you don't wanna spray them and freak them out or spray them in the face on accident and then get them nervous or have them pull back. Arlo's good about being hosed off. The water is cold water because we're not fancy. We don't have warm water, but we're only doing the legs. Like I wouldn't bathe him in, with this. Just the legs. Yeah, I know. Look at his big feet. He's got such nice big feet. Love that. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, we got as much mud off as we possibly could. So now we're gonna start grooming. I'm gonna find the metal brush here. That's One's broken. Hi, buddy. Yeah, you're sweet. Okay, so as I've said before, we have clay where I live and it just gets like crusty. So I gently like will come through and get the mud off with the metal curry. Otherwise I typically, <clears throat> sorry, I got dirt in my mouth. Typically would use a rubber curry. Like this spot, I have to get in a little more. Sorry, bud. He's being good though. Because it's like, that's where the girth is gonna go, kinda. And it's crusty. Good job, Arlo. Then I'll come through with the soft brush and brush it off. I've just been having fun out there. But his legs look way better. And the sand is kinda just gonna splash up on it anyway a little bit. So we're just trying to get him looking slightly more presentable. That's the goal. Thank you, little fluffy. Oh, good, thank you. <laughs> Very gentle around the legs. The fun part about having gray horses here is they get really dirty and they're hardly ever clean. But when they are clean, they're absolutely gorgeous. Like he actually turns like a silvery tone when he sheds out, which the shed is coming. Some of the horses have already started shedding. So that's exciting. 
Ooh, we got lots of crusties. Sorry, bud. And he's got such thick fur, like, I'm not putting a lot of, you know, pressure when I'm doing this. I'm just trying to get it off. Here we go. Little fluff butt. Yes, you are. He's like, why haven't I got a treat yet? Excuse me. Okay, I think we can pretty much use the soft brush now. So let's do that. Okay, let's see. And we'll get your face last. Yeah, get your chest. Legs, I'm not going to do too much with. Just get all that extra dirt swiped off you. At least it's not cold, cold, huh, buddy? It's gonna be a nice little ride. I can't wait. I just look forward to riding Arlo, Zazu, Jiminy, Bagheera because they're very predictable and that's just fun. So it's nice mix between training and just enjoying, which we're still always training, obviously, but you get my point. Yeah. Hi. Okay, buddy. Let's do this again. I'm not trying to be a do a perfect groom here. Just a little bit. Okay. Good enough. I'm going to brush his face a little bit, but it's kind of hard to film. And then I'm going to just brush his tail ends. I did spray him with the hose to get the clumps out. Okay, we're going to ride English today. I'm going to ride him in my purple ECP saddle pad. So we're going to put this on. Good boy. It's made a quilt. I like these pads a lot. They're really nice. I don't want to use anything new and fancy because it's still sandy out there and it splashes up on the pad and stuff. And this stuff's meant to get dirty, right? It is. He's so cute. Look at you. And then we are going to ride in my Black Country dressage saddle. So this is the Eloquence. And it does have a hoop tree. And it is designed for gated horses or mutton withered horses, which means horses that don't have a lot of wither, like Arlo, for example. So great option for him. And then he does have a Western saddle. It's an Abeda. And this is actually a gated horse saddle for trails. So that's cool. My tack room is a mess right now. And of course, we are gonna ride bitless. So let's put your bridle on. We got his saddle on and his pad. Obviously, I'll tighten the girth once we get out there. You be a good sleepy boy. <laughs> Arlo. Okay, we got the bridle on. Now we're gonna head out to the outdoor arena. You ready, buddy? I am so ready to get out and ride in the outdoor arena. It's sunny, it's warm, it's February. I don't understand it, but I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna ride my buddy here. Yes, my buddy. <laughs> Arlo is sleeping here, but he is in our silver deluxe bitless bridle. This is a black one, and he is wearing the mermaid snap out brow band. It's gorgeous. It has emerald pink and some grayish black stone. So even though he's pretty sleepy, he looks super cute. I absolutely love these bridles. I just think they look really snazzy and classic and I worked really hard on developing these. I've gotten so many great reviews from all of you. So thank you. Arlo, wake up. We have to go for a ride, buddy. <laughs> you are the definition of chill. Arlo is seriously a sweetheart of a horse. Like I just, oh, he is just so much fun. You're so precious. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> you good baby. Oh my gosh, the bonbon. The bonbon. Mwah. Mwah. I just love you. All right, buddy. Good job. Oh, get my stirrup. Shift my weight. Okay, let's rock and roll. All right, we're gonna warm up. We're gonna move. Ah, it's such a beautiful day to ride. So a lot of people talk about how they get nervous when it comes to cantering. So my number one tip 
when it comes to cantering, there's a few different things. If you've never cantered before, you definitely need to be taking lessons with an instructor who is knowledgeable and one that you trust and somebody who's gonna build your confidence, not break it. Now there's a difference between pushing somebody and getting them to be stronger versus totally breaking their confidence down. Now, with that being said, if you're scared to canter, you really should be cantering on a horse who has a decent canter, who is confident and reliable and trustworthy. The worst thing you can do is if you don't have confidence in your canter, go and ride a green horse or a horse who has issues in the canter, then you're gonna have issues yourself, okay? So that is my words of advice when it comes to cantering, okay? And then the other thing is you have to do it often enough to where you're maintaining that confidence. Now, obviously canter is a faster gait, so sometimes more things can go wrong when you're in faster gaits, but you just have to practice and put yourself in a healthy environment and do it enough to where you're confident with it, you know? We're just warming up in the walk. He's being a good boy. Do some trot and then we'll get into our canter. Arlo is very mellow. He's a very chill horse. It's a little muddy back here, so we kind of have to stay off the rail a little bit, but I think it's okay to canter for the most part. Good warm up. Oh, it's chilling. Now Arlo is slower. He's more woe than go, which means if you don't kind of keep reminding him to stay forward, he's gonna stop. Like, I don't have to put too much leg on him right now. If I feel him slow down, I just do a little bit of a squeeze with my calf or a little cluck. But in the canter, he can, it can be a little harder for him in the arena. Okay, so we warmed up in walk trot. Now I'm gonna ask him for some canter. You ready, sleepy boy? All right, let's go. He's like, I thought we were done. As I said earlier, Arlo is a gated horse, so he is gonna move and canter differently. However, his canter is smooth. So one of the tips I wanna give you when you're cantering is just to relax and to keep your back straight, but also use your hips to kind of go with the motion of the horse. And that's gonna create more harmony, rhythm, and balance. But that does take time to develop and you just have to put in the canter miles, okay? When you wanna build your confidence in the canter, it's also really important to get a horse that you know is gonna stop too, which Arlo will find joy in stopping. <laughs> he actually really likes to go on the trail. He's like, yeah, but in the arena, he's like, la 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 la. You gotta kind of use a little bit of leg on him, which that can be harder for people who are learning to ride him. However, on the flip side, it's good because you have to learn how to like use your energy and your pelvis and your seat and ask him to go more forward. He is a forward horse um, out on the trail, and in the ring, he's good, like especially in the summer and he's feeling good, but he's just more chill and laid back. Like it's just personality. Okay, then we gotta go the other way. When you're cantering, you want to try to stay upright. You don't wanna lean too far back. You don't wanna lean too far forward because you could give the horse mixed signals. And also thinking about your leg. Sometimes you might need to keep your leg on the horse like Arlo if they're not going forward, or you might need to keep your leg off if they are more forward. I'll also do some exercises, like right now I'm just in a half seat in between two point and my sitting canter. And I'm gonna show you another exercise I like to do with cantering as well. And it just helps to strengthen your overall balance and strength as a rider too. And remember at the end of the day, cantering is fun. It is my favorite gait to ride. And I just think it's so amazing. Like it's smooth, it's beautiful. It's just lovely. So remember that you're gaining the strength in order to have fun. It is true that every horse's canter is gonna feel different. Like I said, some horses are more laid back, some are more forward, meaning they're quicker. And some horses, you know, get a little squirrely in the canter. So that's again, why it's important. If you're gaining your confidence in canter, you wanna make sure you're on a horse that you really trust. 
but it's fun to feel all the different canters from different horses and breeds. Another exercise that I enjoy doing in the canter is posting. So you can see here, I'm going up, sit, up, sit. My rhythm is essentially matching his front left leg if you look closely. And this is just really great to test how in tune you are with the canter and posting. Cantering is also a great workout for not only the horse, but the rider too. And then implementing the different exercises such as two point posting, half seat and sitting. It's also really fun to canter bareback. And I will ride Arlo tackless and canter as well. I posted a video about that. I'll put it in the description. It is just so much fun. So don't be scared to canter. Just really take your time and build the confidence. But yeah, there's just a few different exercises you can do to build confidence in your canter, um, posting at the canter, making sure you have clear instruction. So when you're asking the horse to go into the canter, the way I do for most horses is I sit, I open inside rein, open the door, I use outside leg, ask them to go through the door. And then sometimes I'll give a little bit of rein just depending on the horse and then I'll kiss. So let me show you a canter transition, for example. Arlo, because he's gated, his transitions aren't as easy as like Jiminy per se, but let me just show you as an example. <laughs> gated horses just move a little differently, but his canter smooth, it's fun, it's good. And you've gotten so much stronger. When I first got him, like he barely could canter in the arena and now he can go around and you just gotta keep saying, okay, let's go Arlo. All right, let's try a nice transition, Arlo. Okay, come on. I'm asking for a trot here. I'm gonna sit, open inside rein. I'm just gonna cool him out, walk him around. He was a good boy. Yeah, so hopefully that helps you out, horse lovers. I think canter is a really important gait. I think all gates are important, but canter is definitely one that some people struggle with. So you just gotta get out and do it and have a confident horse and a good instructor if you're really nervous and you need that guidance. Take lessons, don't just try to do it yourself, okay? So, yeah. All right, buddy, let's cool out. Good boy. You look clean right now. <sighs> Probably. Arlo likes to stretch when we're done. Yes, you do. You're like, I was a good boy. Oh, so happy that the arena was dry enough to ride in today. Little secret here, I hate riding inside. I mean, I'm very, very thankful for my indoor arena, but I will do everything in my power to not ride in the indoor because I just love being out. It's just so much better. <laughs> I love his multicolored mane, it's so pretty. One time we shaved it and it grew back and he looked like a zebra because of like the black and white it was so funny it looked actually really cute on him because he has a nice neck he's actually a really well built horse considering he's gated not that gated horses aren't built well but you know he's not like a purebred or anything um and he's great so he's not registered but he is considered a spotted saddle horse so to speak but he actually is built nice you know and he has big feet thick bone 
good body and he's not tall he's 15 hands so he's just a great little horse kids love him he's sweet all right buddy you think you were a good boy we gonna dismount oh i need to grab my hat over here so let's dismount over here Oh, the sun is amazing. Literally changing my life right now. And whoa. Wow. Drop my stirrups. I always drop my stirrups before I get off. Because I don't want to get dragged in case something happens. And we're going to whoop de do right off. Whee! <laughs> oh, Arlo. You know how I did that Valentine's Day shoot with him? like the kisses you can still see some remnants of it. so those are what they are if you notice them <laughs> poor arlo he's actually i really honestly think my most photogenic horse i mean every picture he just looks freaking stunning especially the action shots like obviously he's pretty but it, the pictures it's just like dang gorgeous but all the horses are beautiful yes all right, sleepy time. Also, horse lovers, today I am wearing my Piaf Plum lipstick. So it is a beautiful, luminescent plum. Now, I like to layer it on a little bit to make it darker. And it's just super pretty because it's shiny. Or you can just do like one or two layers and it's a little bit lighter. It is so cute. It's one of my go-tos. So if you want to support Free Spirit Equestrian, the best way you can do that is ordering something off the Spirited Horse Boutique. Link in the description. We have all different types of shades and different products like the bridles and the snap-out brow bands. So check it out. Thanks, horse lovers. Here is a little video of what the Piaf Plum actually looks like. Like, let's see if I can get it in the light. It's so luminescent and pretty. Like, look how shimmery that is. And a lot of the lipsticks match the brow bands. Like, it's gorgeous. Love it. All right, horse lovers. Arlo was awesome today. That was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed our canter video. So make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates. And we'll see you next time. Bye.